Hey, what's going on guys? I want to make a quick video showing you how I make bacon. I think this is the best way to make bacon. Ever since I first tried this a couple years ago, I haven't made it any other way. And that's basically just baking it. Uh, you can see I have my oven at 375. And usually I'll do uh, one you know, sheet pan full of it. So let me show you that. And what I do is... I put it in one of these uh, throwaway containers. Of course, you can use whatever you want to put it in there, but bake in the oven for 375. And I usually do it for about 25 minutes to a half an hour, um, but halfway through, you have to flip it. Now, I'm going to take, uh, take this out of the oven and blot one, you know, get all the grease off and stuff, put it on a plate, and show you why I think it's perfect bacon. All right, so I got a piece out here. I just want to continue to pat it dry completely so it's not soaking in grease. But this is why this is perfect bacon to me anyway super hot still is that the uh, the fat on here is completely melted and what I mean by that is that it's holding its shape it's still there obviously but it's not soggy at all it literally melts away it's kind of like when you have a perfect steak and the fat or gristle that's on the steak completely melts in your mouth the second it touches your you know your mouth and you're chewing it it dissipates it disappears it turns into liquid fat as opposed to chewy fat so this is the perfect way to make bacon uh, of course, you know, it's split <laughs> down the middle. Some people love their bacon super crispy and some people like it super soggy. Um, you could still make it both ways in the oven if you want it super crispy. You literally just keep it in there longer. It'd probably take more like 40 to 45 minutes if you want it really, really crispy. But either way, you're going to be left with this, where again, that fat pulls away. All right? And it melts in your mouth. It's absolutely ridiculously good. So if you're still making it on the stove and it's burning on you, or you know the, the meat cooks and, and starts you know burning before the the fat starts to melt and ends up chewy and kind of rubbery you're missing out try baking it 375 for about 25 minutes of course this is going to vary the time i would keep it on 375 no matter what but keep an eye on it watch it when it looks like one side's kind of done or getting darker flip it over halfway through and finish cooking it to your you know specific liking but it makes the world of a difference so that is how you make perfect bacon Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Take care.